Society burglar strikes again. Mm, series of burglaries. Six over the period from June 2nd to June 17th. On July 2nd, the 7th occurred at the home of Sir Sanford Leeds. Cleopatra Tiara stolen, it says. As in the other cases, uh, no sign of extensive search by the thief and only one piece of jewelry involved. Victims elsewhere at the time. Here's a complete list of the particulars, Holmes, if you'd care to read it. I believe you'll find them in the study. How do you do, gentlemen? I am Gerald Locke. Please be seated, Mr. Locke. How can we be of service? Three days ago, Guy Clarendon was found murdered at Halliday's. It's preposterous, but Miss Frances Nolan has been charged and is being detained at the criminal court, Old Bailey. Frances Nolan? Ah, yes. Sister of Loretta Nolan, only surviving heirs of Sir Malcolm Nolan, founder of the Aberdeen Navigation Company. I seem to recall that Sir Malcolm and Lady Nolan were killed when some lunatic threw a bomb into their carriage. It seems to me that later I heard something about it being a case of mistaken identity. Wasn't one of their little offspring in the carriage with them at the time? Yes, it was Loretta, Francis's sister. She was only four. Miraculously, she was uninjured. Mr. Locke? I've heard that you are a suitor for Miss Frances Nolan's hand, are you not? Yes. And was it not also true that she was being courted by Guy Clarendon? Unfortunately, yes. Have you any idea why Frances Nolan was charged with the crime? Ah, uh, well, she was discovered over the body with a pistol in her hand. That would do it. But you don't understand. Frances is totally incapable of murder, not even of a scoundrel such as Guy Clarendon. Scoundrel? But he's from such blue blood. Also, if I'm not mistaken, he's an accomplished batsman for the West London Cricketeers. A ranked fencer in international competition. He was also a bit of a bounder, Watson. What an understatement. Guy Clarendon was excessively fond of cards and strong drink. His father had all but disinherited him. I tried to tell Francis that Clarendon was no good, but to no avail. And now look at the mess she's in. Will you help? Most certainly. 